guys so I'm back with another video in today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to create KKH style hair so basically you're gonna need a screenshot from KKH or Kim Kardashian Hollywood as some people would call it and you're also gonna need any art program that you use whether it's Metabang, Ibis, Procreate or whatever so let's get started Okay, for this part of the clip, I'm just literally fixing the wig. I fixed the wig by just using mesh transform. I will either trim around the edge of the hair if I need to, just so it fits the head a lot better. You don't have to create the wig with a head, like you don't have to use a head to create the wig. But I, I just do this optional because like, I wanted the wig to fit perfectly to the head that I was using because I was doing this for a specific project. But when you are like, I guess, recreating these wigs, you don't have to use a obby head at all. You can just, you know, do it normally, have the picture, and just copy and retrace the picture if you want to. I just wanted a head because I wanted to make sure that, you know, it would be perfect. <laughs> and of course, it might not be perfect even if you try this and you have to you know, fix it on later on, but I just wanted more accuracy, I guess. So see if I lose all the attention and I own nothing, it's just turning me on a bench in the street with Dolly underneath, that would be enough for me. Under bright eyes Maybe I'm tired Cause my expectations are too high The truth is Right now I've got everything I need But it's never been my nature To accept complacency It's just circles in my head I'm still running after something I know money cannot help Always starving for more purpose Maybe it's right here instead Honest questions with my lover All these things I think I want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center of it all for everyone to see If I lose all the attention And I own nothing It's just showing me on a bench in the street With Dolly underneath That would be enough so we're gonna pick our colors this step is very important you know you should at least know what color direction you're going in most people before they are gonna draw something i feel like most people know what color they're going to pick you know or what colors they want to use um so usually the outline color should be the darker color and the base should be the lightest color currently uh, except for the highlight but I don't really pay attention to what colors I'm gonna do for highlight until I get like the whole like you know shading down um so also another thing if you're gonna take a screenshot of your hair please whatever hair you're gonna be using just take a screenshot of the hair in a lighter color just in case I took a screenshot of the hair in a darker color and it was it just wasn't easier for me to use. I couldn't really see how to do the shading properly or the lines. I am a little more used to doing wigs now, so it was a lot you know, easier than it would have been in the past, but I recommend you to take a screenshot of your hair in a lighter color just so it makes everything a lot easier to see. <laughs> so we're normally going to do what we do for the first outline. Literally, you're just tracing the outer parts of the hair. We're not really focusing on the lines on the inside, we're just focusing on the outer parts of the hair. The most I can really say about this is that when I'm creating hair and it comes to outline, I like to make the top of the head a little thicker, like around like the end of the head, to the very top. Um, and I also like to make my lines thinner at the like the point you'll notice throughout the video that where the hair sort of curls I like to make a little like I guess mm, I like to use the curve tool and the sharp 
brush just to kind of add a little more I guess effect to it like I don't make my lines straight all the way I kind of add a little curve to them you know I kind of make them skinnier towards like I'll make them big skinnier than big like I just to add like I guess volume I don't know but like it just adds a little more je ne sais quoi you know and I don't like to make my lines straight like just straight like bone straight they're all the same size it just it just looks very boring <laughs> so like I would recommend you to you know test out new ways to do your lines you know do whatever works for you like I also recommend using the sharp brush like I like using that when it comes to creating my own lines especially my like first outline so yeah just a tip Cause my expectations are too high The truth is, right now, I've got everything I need But it's never been my nature to accept complacency It's just circles in my head I'm still running after something I know money cannot help Always starving for more purpose Maybe it's right here instead Honest questions with my lover All these things I think I want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center of it all for everyone to see If I lose all the attention and I own nothing It's just her and me on a bench in the street With Dolly underneath, that would be enough for me Maybe I ain't found it yet Honest questions with my mirror All these things you think you want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center of it all for everyone to see If I lose all the attention and I own nothing It's just her and me on a bench in the street With Dolly underneath would be enough for me Not a nigga drowning, yeah But I got a plan to devise okay. We gon' fuck up his life for All we need is your phone and some time So, we're doing what we normally do so the second outline this is like the outline that shows kind of like the strands of hair like where they part um if you notice um if i had a you know 
a screenshot with a lighter colored hair you would notice that the second outline like the lines in the middle aren't really the same color as the first outline so the first outline is usually darker and the second outline is usually a little lighter than the first outline so yeah um these lines are just representing like i guess the strands and where the hair parts um so yeah it's just normal like i don't really do anything different i just literally copy the lines <laughs> straight for it <laughs> Not a nigga drowning, yeah. But I got a plan to devise. Okay. We gon' fuck up his life. Oh. All we need is your phone and some time. Boy, you don't know that we know about you. No good anyways We bout to play with his head He don't know who he dealing with no. Send me your text thread I know Matter of fact where he gon' be at We should pull up on him around nine And when I see him you know it's so sad yeah. He gon' pay for wasting our time Yeah, yeah We cut you in But you don't know I tried to tell you, man, I'm trying to tell you. 
So, third outline is optional. It's optional. Like, you don't have to do this. Um, I will say that these this outline color is darker than the first outline. Um, I usually use this for the back the hair that seems like it would be towards the back of the neck and also towards the back. So the hairs at the bottom like of the screen um, and the one towards the ones closest to the neck. You don't have to do this. I just want to be extra. I just I just like different using different colors. I like making it unique. I do also notice that in certain hairs um, in KKH you'll notice that the hair on uh, like the lines towards the neck are darker so that's why that's kind of where I got it but you don't have to do this this is optional you can even skip this part I'll have the chapters down below so yeah So before we start the blending, I wanted to kind of show you guys how I create the fade brush. Literally what I do is I go to the settings of a normal brush and I click opacity by pressure and force fade in and out and it just kind of it just makes the brush fade in towards the beginning and the out. I guess and um, it kind of creates a fade effect and I love that so yeah so blending blending is optional as well but I recommend it blending literally what I do is I use the selection tool to select the second outline layer and then what I'll do is I'll open another layer on top and then I'll usually use the fade brush or an airbrush just to kind of blend in the first outline and the second outline together so they kind of blend in together and I just like it I don't like leaving my lines just like kind of like on top of each other I like blending them into each other so like yeah You could see it in my pictures, bitches, nothing new. I ain't talking about my revenue. That's what every second that I get to do. Exactly what I dreamed of when I was a little kid. It's a dream, never thought I would get to live. So now I ain't trying to catch up to you. All I can be is a panic, you gon' get the truth. It's the truth, hey, I ain't really got no pain. I don't wear no chain You know when you see me around town Let me do my thing I ain't really pop no tags Really got no sweat But if you need something I probably got it in my Louis Tryna live life Every day say oh, I wanna leave it Can't name my price But I'm riding in a Beamer Yeah, yeah, ain't no two-seater More room to kick my feet up huh. Feeling like a boss ass bitch these days Life is more than just getting paid Yeah, you could bet your chips Hope and wish and lose it all so quick these days Yeah, this the gift mama gave me Yeah, this the week daddy raised me And when I get stressed I just remember I'm blessed Ain't no complaining I ain't changing I ain't really got no pain I don't wear no chain You know when you see me around town Let me do my thing I don't really pop no tags Really got no sweat But if you need something I probably got it in my Louis
Okay, base is really easy. I don't feel like we have to go over this as much. You just color. Like, you color, you fill in the lines, and it's, it's a good time. <laughs> so yeah. It's been a day, stressing out like crazy Just wanna be lazy with my girls It's been a day, we gonna get wavy Layer on some diamonds and some pearls Maybe we could go to the mall, get our nails done Get our hair done, we fly Maybe we could holler at the boys, looking so good Just so when they walk by Cause we know what they want, but we just laugh <laughs> Yeah, we won't let them get away with that We walk tall, our heads held high Cause we so motherfucking fly, yeah Wings of gold, we touch the sky Bad bitches till we die We so fly So, when it comes to shading too and recreating wigs, um, for shading, I would just say try to copy it to your best possible, like possible, like try to copy it to your best, um, try your best when it comes to copying. Um, that's usually what I'll do, and usually after I'm done shading, I'll try to add anything unique or different, or if I don't like how the shading looks, I'll try to fix it up afterwards but honestly just try your best to copy it now if i was making a wig from scratch i probably would have like different directions but i i really don't have currently at the moment um so yeah i hope i'm able to help you learn visually because as you can see like <laughs> i have no input um because honestly for this we're just copying like how to make a wig um, I don't really know how to make wigs from scratch yet. Like I'm still working on that. Like it's it's a it's a struggle. It's it's a journey. <laughs>
Easy to be misunderstood No one knows I'm acting Every time they're asking Make them believe that it's all good Faking smiles and laughing Playing like I'm happy all the time The girl who can do everything Never bothered by anything Crying till I can't cry no more What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my scare is running down, down my face Really, I'm okay, I'm okay Crying till I can't cry no more 
What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my scare is running down, down my face Really, I'm okay, I'm okay is also optional this is for the same um direction that i gave for the third outline the early shading three is for those parts as well like towards the neck and the back of the hair and the back of the hair is usually the hair towards the bottom like you can notice which one is the back of the hair um so yeah optional as well you don't have to do this it's a very short clip so yeah So for shading one, I, I think I added it, um, I did shading one in a layer under shading two, so it'd be a lot easier to add it um, towards the top of shading two, and I wouldn't have to really clean it up as much. Um, you can put it in a layer on top of shading two, but I just felt like it's a lot easier when it comes to hair to put it on the bottom part, so it just kind of like does what it needs to be done. Um, Shading one is literally a transitional color. That's what I call it. It literally is just to add more blending effect to shading two. So shading two doesn't seem as harsh. So you want to add it towards the top of shading two just to kind of blend into the hair a lot more. Um, I hope this clip also helps you guys visually. Like, because I don't really know how to explain it. But like, I would just tell you to try your best. Literally copying like try your best when it comes to copying and I hope this clip helps you guys visually because I don't know how to explain it but I hope it helps like I I, I hope I'm really helping you guys like seriously like I don't want to like I don't like this tutorial just to like goof around like I like I hope it really helps you guys and I know my last video even though I feel like I'm really bad at tutorials you guys said it helped too so I'm trying my best I 
like to fight a little dirty, baby If I opened up and gave, then would you hurt me, baby? I've been feeling like an alien, a refugee, an outsider But sometime, you the first one made my heart beat, made my stomach drop with these Okay, when it comes to highlight, I would say do whatever you like because highlight, I feel like everyone has a different way of highlighting their hair. Usually I'll do the main highlight where I just add like highlights toward the top of the hair, towards like the curls, um, um, and then afterwards I'll like take my fade brush and kind of like add some highlights around the lines of the hair just to kind of make it pop a little more. Honestly, I would just tell you to experiment with your highlight, like, um, I don't really, like, have a specific way of doing my highlight. It's kind of just how I feel at that moment. So, I would say experiment with your highlight. Try your best. Like, honestly, just have fun with it. Like, I feel like highlight is the best part. Like, I, it's always the part where I kind of feel a little more relieved because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm almost done and I can make this hair look pretty. So have fun with your highlight. Like, don't, like, take it so seriously. Um, have a little fun because you, and when you experiment, I feel like that's when you get to know what you like and what you don't like. So try out new things with the highlight, you know. I don't know, add it in different places where KKH doesn't. Like, I feel like you'll learn more what you like and what you don't like.
my mind Is it real, is it right, is it wrong, is it not, is it I don't care, I just wanna be here with you now And all that I know is you make me excited I feel so ignited, I don't wanna fight it So I don't care Sabotage all my life, baby I don't care I just wanna be here With you now And all that I know is You light up my life Want you here by my side lately All of the time, baby I don't care I just need you right here With me now Driving me down to the diamond Backseat and I thought I Was gonna make it big time Maybe it's crazy to think we're the same kid It's just circles in my head I've been running after something I know money couldn't help Always starving for my purpose Maybe I ain't found it yet Honest questions with my mother All these things you think you want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center of it all for everyone to see If I lose all the attention and I own nothing It's just her and me on a bench in the street With Dolly underneath, that would be enough for me Under bright eyes Maybe I'm tired Cause my expectations are too high The truth is Right now I've got everything I need But it's never been my nature To accept complacency 
It's just circles in my head I'm still running after something I know money cannot help Always starving for more purpose Maybe it's right here instead Honest questions with my lover All these things I think I want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center of it all for everyone to see If I lose all the attention and I own nothing It's just her and me on a bench in the street With Dolly underneath, that would be enough for me Maybe I ain't found it yet Honest questions with my mirror All these things you think you want Will they ever be enough? Looking for the answers where they used to be At the center of it all for everyone to see If I lose all the attention and I own nothing It's just her and me on a bench in the street with Dolly underneath would be enough for me So guys, this is the end of the video. I hope this tutorial really did help you guys. I know I babbled throughout most of this and I feel like I didn't even say anything like, I guess, worthwhile. But I hope you guys really were able to learn visually and I helped you guys in some sort of way. Like, even though I am really awkward when it comes to these tutorials, I really like the fact that I'm helping you guys. So. In any way that I can help, I hope that I did help you guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It's in the link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.